When was the last time you had a job interview? Um, 2002. Okay, so did you have text messaging back then? No. Okay, so this is something no. that you would be totally unable to fathom. Yeah, 2002 when I was interviewing for the internship here at WTAQ. You've never had an intern. You've never had to interview for a full-time job before. No, not really. Wow, <laughs> that's fascinating. Yeah, when I went from paid intern to full-time morning show host, it was basically like, so you want to do it? Yeah. All right. Okay, so in the 22, in. In the 22 years since, yeah. things have changed in the world's <laughs> job interviewing. You see, That's what I understand. Yeah. <laughs> from now, <laughs> Here's what happens now, okay? <laughs> it's 10 p.m., you just finished up with an interview earlier that day at 1 p.m. 10 okay. p.m. rolls around, Nine, okay. and you get a text saying, hey, this is so-and-so. I work at the place you just interviewed at. I was out of the office, heard you were there, heard everyone was really impressed with you. Sorry I didn't get to meet you. Would love to connect with you sometime. Hope that can work. Again, you're getting this text message at 10 p.m. Hmm. You better think about that text message. Who dis? Because it's part of a trick. What? Yes. This is all part of the interview. Oh, come on. Some companies have started doing this. They text you late at night just to see if you'll respond. And how quickly I'll respond? And how quickly you'll respond. And that's supposed to like let them know how bad I want the job or what? Correct. Wow. And whether or not you'll fit into a work culture, which is almost certainly terrible, given that this sort of crap is going on. Wouldn't your first thought be it's some kind of a spam thing or something? No. Mine would be. Hey, this is so-and-so. I work at the place you interviewed. Uh, was out of the office. Heard you were there. Want to catch up. Best of luck. Yeah, but how did so-and-so get my number? Well, presumably from the resume you sent in. Yeah, but why would the person who's out of the office all of a sudden have access to my resume? I don't know who this guy is. Well, presumably because he works at the office in which they keep your resume. But not everyone should have access to my resume. Why not? I don't know who this guy is. Well, clearly he's important, or else he wouldn't be texting you, right? Spam! <laughs> <laughs> That's my thought. Apparently, this guy who does this, uh, the uh, guy's name is uh, William Vanderblom, and he runs an executive search firm. Uh, he says that if you respond quickly, it, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll get the job. Not responding doesn't mean you won't get the job. They're just trying to add a little bit of that nuance, a little bit of that, okay, who is this person, so on and so forth. Hmm. Seems like if I reply... I'm guaranteed to have spamware downloaded onto my Samsung phone. See, you're sounding like me now. I get this paranoid over electronic crap. Hmm. You're not supposed to. No, no, I do too. I just don't talk about it as much. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's reasonable.